Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different than usual and we're going to cover a tokenized version of a stock and this stock is the popular uh, Coinbase stock that got listed on Nasdaq today. So, uh, this in this channel we cover um, you know mostly cryptocurrencies, uh, but the fact of the channel is to uh, you know, make everyone, um, you know, invest in projects that they can, that can make them rich, brutally rich. And, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be crypto alone because crypto is a medium where people can literally, uh, you know, if they do the right thing, they can obviously be extremely wealthy in a short period of time. So this channel uh, has been covering crypto for a long time, but um, we are going to, uh, you know, look into covering uh, stocks as well as uh, you know tokenized version of stocks and uh, this will be one of the uh, first tokenized stock that we are going to cover and uh, that is basically the coinbase token right so if you guys are uh, new to crypto or you haven't been uh, you know following the crypto markets for a long time uh, you would know that um, you know coinbase uh, is uh, one of the most popular exchanges it's one of the first exchange everyone uh, hears about when they hear about cryptocurrency. That's because Coinbase is very user-friendly. It has uh, an easy fiat to crypto on-ramp where people can literally buy uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and several other cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's a very easy to use platform that uh, is very trusted and uh, has been one of the most popular exchanges in the world. Uh, they have gone live when it comes to their IPO, uh, which is initial public offering, where a company you know lists its stock, and uh, it has listed its stock on Nasdaq, and it's trading on Nasdaq from today. And uh, uh, so there are several uh, reputed exchanges such as FTX, which is one of the most popular cryptocurrency exchange that uh, you know um, frequently has tokenized versions of stocks listed on them and uh, they have listed their coin token which is basically the ticker symbol for the actual stock itself and this coin uh, token is a representative of the coinbase stock itself right so again uh, before we talk anything about this one i just want to bring uh, uh, you know the new york times uh, article that was uh, you know updated recently which states uh, Coinbase being valued at $86 billion in landmark moment for crypto with live updates, right? So Coinbase uh, is listed today on NASDAQ and it was uh, valued at $86 billion. So again, to take that into perspective, Coinbase has been, uh, you know, Coinbase has been around for a very long time and uh, when it, it is listed, it's uh, being valued at $86 billion, which some people say it's uh, extremely overvalued, which I personally do agree myself. And, um, you know, it's something that many people who want to uh, buy stocks or uh, cryptocurrencies are very eager because Coinbase stock being listed is going to bring in a lot of new adoption to crypto and being one of the most popular exchanges, uh, this is definitely going to signify the you know the um, early stages of the bull run that we are uh, that we are in currently. So let's look at this article to understand uh, what the implication of the stock is and whether um, you know it is good to invest in the tokenized version of the Coinbase stock or whether it is better to invest in the real world, real stock itself. So we'll have a look at that in this video. So. Here's what you need to know. Coinbase's valuation source in uh, first public listing of a major cryptocurrency company. So it basically is one of the most uh, early, um, you know, cryptocurrency exchanges that has existed, um, uh, you know, since uh, 2015. And uh, I believe it's uh, one of the most popular and one of the most well-recognized uh, exchanges in the world. And they, them being listed uh, on uh, they, them being listing their stock on a uh, public um, exchange like Nasdaq, a very reputed exchange like Nasdaq, is definitely going to signify a lot of uh, crypto adoption, right? Um, if you see, there are several other articles that are linked to this, which uh, you guys can 
go through it uh, uh, in, in your in your for your own research, right? So Coinbase is va valuation source in first public listing of a major cryptocurrency company, right? So if you see shares in Coinbase, the first major cryptocurrency company to list its shares in a U.S. stock exchange, jumped in their market debut on Wednesday, showing their showing that investors are hungry to get a piece of the hot market for digital currencies. Again. Um, by investing in Coinbase, you're actually not investing in any cryptocurrency. You're just investing in an exchange. You're just investing in a company or a portion of a, a, a company that is, uh, you know, going public. So, uh, although this line can be, you know, um, uh, you know, taken, uh, most people take this line seriously. You actually can't own any cryptocurrency by buying a stock of Coinbase, right? So, just have that in mind. Coinbase began trading on Wednesday afternoon at uh, $381 a share, a 52% increase over the $250 reference price set by Nasdaq on Tuesday. So uh, yesterday, which is Tuesday, Nasdaq kind of predicted, uh, not only really Nasdaq, several econ economists uh, predicted the price of one Coinbase share to be about $250 per uh, coin, uh, per um, stock. But uh, today, the token price actually increased to a price of $381, which is a 52% increase. And that's significantly high. Uh, and that shows the people's craze uh, in investing in Coinbase. And, uh, you know, uh, many people um, have literally saved a lot of money in order to invest in this share because uh, this is one of the most monumental achievements uh, bridging cryptocurrencies with the you know actual businesses as well as stocks and uh, you know exchanges right so that's pretty cool um, a reference price is set by a stock exchange based on expectations for where the stock will open so again that's something like a footnote the stock swung as low as three hundred and ten dollars um, and as high as four hundred and twenty nine dollars in a volatile day of trading that reflected the unpredictable nature of cryptocurrency prices. Again, this is also very misleading because, yeah, cryptocurrency is um, uh, very, you know, uh, volatile, but Coinbase as a stock being listed on an exchange has nothing to do with cryptocurrencies, right? Coinbase is just like any other stock. If you take Tesla or Apple or Google, any stock, Coinbase uh, is a stock, right? Coin. coin uh, the, the ticker symbol for Coinbase is COIN, so C-O-I-N, and that is basically a stock just like any other stock. I don't know why they're mentioning that uh, uh, that it's unpredictable nature of cryptocurrency prices is basically something that you can kind of see for uh, uh, any cryptocurrencies, but this is not about the cryptocurrency. This is basically about the stock itself. So uh, it seems like um, the New York Times is kind of biased in presenting cryptocurrencies as a bad, in the bad light, but uh, anyway, the the stock price of coin, uh, uh, the coin share, kind of went as low as three hundred and ten dollars and as high as four twenty nine dollars. Right? Coinbase ended the day at three twenty eight dollars and twenty eight cents USD, valuing the company at eighty five point seven billion, continuing all of its outstanding shares, uh, counting all of its out outstanding shares more than ten times its last valuation as a private company. Right? So. One thing to note here is basically people who are working at Coinbase were also uh, owners of the Coinbase share, right? There are several employees who have been awarded shares. So the company kind of was a private company and there, there are a lot of employees who held Coinbase shares and they were literally waiting for the opportunity for the Coinbase uh, a share to go public. And when it did, they kind of like, uh, I believe that they probably dumped uh, most of their shares or even at least 50% uh, of their shares uh, today and that kind of resulted in the huge volatility that we saw, right? Coinbase share price um, founded in um, San Francisco in 2012. So again, uh, pardon me, I believe that I thought uh, you know, Coinbase started around 2015, but it's actually 2012. So Coinbase is actually much older than many cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, Coinbase allows people and companies to buy and sell various digital currencies, including Bitcoin, the most po uh, the most popular, and Ether. The company, which takes a transaction fee, has been riding high on a boom year for cryptocurrencies as investors poured money um, into the assets and driven their prices to new highs. Again, Coinbase has existed since 2012 
and it has enabled a fast and easy exchange um, you know uh, and, and and it was an on ramp for uh, you know bitcoin and ether but then it added a lot of other cryptocurrencies and now it's very easy and uh, you know easy to onboard uh, regular people as well as uh, coinbase has uh, supported several um, venture capitals as well as uh, corporations to buy uh, bitcoin and uh, you know ethereum otc right so coinbase has been doing a really phenomenal job in uh, you know developing and improving the cryptocurrency space and it is a big monumental achievement uh, that coinbase uh, you know uh, went public today and people are literally uh, rejoicing it this week the price of bitcoin hit a record $64000 amid excitement for coinbase's listing double its uh, value at the end, uh, at the beginning of this year on wednesday prices had come down to 61939 right so again bitcoin's price has been uh, on a rally since uh, last the end of last year and uh, this month uh, you know it kind of hit its new all time highs of $64000 and it uh, kind of dipped after that and uh, that's basically uh, a reflection of all the cryptocurrency market in general as well as the reflection of coinbase stock as well right unlike many other startups that go public coinbase is profitable in the first 3 months of the year it is estimated it made 730 million dollars to 800 million dollars in net profit on 1.8 billion dollars in revenue but the company warned in its financial prospectus that its business performance was closely tied to the price of cryptocurrencies which are volatile right again this is something that we have to definitely appreciate coinbase uh, for because um, not only have they acknowledged the fact that they are highly valued because of the fact that the entire cryptocurrency market is valued because as more and more people buy bitcoin which is which is the basic uh, the current scenario because uh, you can clearly see that after micro strategy tesla and several other corporations and institutions buying bitcoin in large numbers uh, retail investors also want to get into the action right and that's why people are going to uh, you know use an exchange which is reputed and the first exchange that they come across is coinbase so whenever they purchase uh, bitcoin or ethereum on coinbase coinbase makes a cut of the takes a cut of the uh, trading fees or uh, you know uh, purchase fees and that's how they make money right coinbase has been incredibly profitable and they made about 730 million dollars to 800 million dollars in net profit uh, on a 1.8 billion dollar in revenue which is pretty crazy if you ask me and um, it's good to see coinbase themselves acknowledging that they are uh, you know in the green only because of uh, the entire cryptocurrency market performing well right which is something that uh, not a lot of companies acknowledge coinbase has raised more than 500 million dollars from venture capital investors who last privately valued it at 8 billion dollars its global shareholders include um, anderson horowitz tiger global and paradigm a crypto focused investment firm right so they have raised money and they have raised a lot of money in the past which includes 500 million dollars from venture capital investors who privately valued the company at 8 billion dollars so from uh, a valuation of 8 billion dollars the the company currently is standing at about 80 uh, 85 billion dollars which is incredibly high and therefore it's something that you guys definitely need to watch out for because by you know investing in this project you are basically investing in something that is ha- that has extremely low upside potential at least at the time of making this video and as long as we are in the bull market coinbase is going to make uh, a lot of money and therefore its uh, valuation is going to go up and people are going to make profit but when the cryptocurrency market goes down it may not always uh, be uh, you know uh, roses for uh, for coinbase right so coinbase is definitely uh, uh, acknowledge that and uh, everyone should definitely be very cautious when investing in the coinbase share brian armstrong coinbase chief executive uh, and the co-founder o- uh, owns nearly 40 million shares in the company making his own stake worth roughly 13 billion so again if you take the main differences between cryptocurrencies as well as stocks you can clearly see that stocks basically represent a company and the company always has 
a um, owner, a CEO or a co-founder or shareholders or board members who own pieces of uh, the company. But the problem is they actually own a huge portion of the company and therefore there is uh, a risk of them dumping on retail investors who want to buy the shares of the company, right? But in crypto, again, not all crypto though, there are uh, several cryptocurrencies that have fair launch and they don't really have any uh, you know, investor who's investing in the, uh, in the cryptocurrency that makes the price of the cryptocurrency very volatile because the investor can potentially dump the cryptocurrency. Again, I'm not saying that there is no cryptocurrency like that. I'm saying there are many cryptocurrencies that don't have investors. If you take Bitcoin, for example, Bitcoin is completely decentralized. It doesn't have a CEO. It doesn't have a headquarters. It doesn't re like we don't even know who Satoshi Nakamoto is, right? So based on all these criteria and knowing the fact that Brian Armstrong, who is one of the co-founders as well as the chief executive officer or CEO of Coinbase, he himself owns 40 million shares. So you have to definitely look into that when you uh, consider buying Coinbase shares, right? Over the last year, Mr. Armstrong has said Coinbase employees should avoid political discussions, a stance that has caused controversy. Some of uh, the company's former black and female employees have also spoken out against unfair treatment and were found to have been underpaid in the company report, right? Again, um, it is, uh, it, like Coinbase was involved in several controversial, uh, you know, discussions, which again, I don't want to go de in detail, but, uh, you know, they have had some controversy because just like any other company, they have their own uh, controversy surrounding it, but uh, that's something that you guys need to look into detail as a part of your own research, right? Coinbase went public through a direct listing uh, an unusual transaction where no new shares are issued or sold. They simply started trading. Again, this is also pretty common uh, when a company wants to go public. They usually don't take a direct listing route and they kind of like issue new shares and they do all these weird things which if you are in the cryptocurrency space for, the, for, uh, um, for quite some time, you'd find it very odd that stock markets are able to do that Whereas in cryptocurrency, all of these activities are considered as a big deal breaker, right? Um, so if you see where no share, no new shares are issued, Coinbase is the largest company to go public via direct listing, which has become popular among well-funded Silicon Valley startups that uh, do not need to raise more cash from public market investors, right? So again, it's one of the very uh, weird decisions that Coinbase made that also made it in a way popular and it has definitely made it much more unique and it's since it's the biggest company that has gone through direct listing process it has definitely uh, you know become more popular in the silicon valley uh, you know startups right so direct uh, direct listings uh, do do not have traditional lockup periods that prevent insiders from selling shares for the first 6 months after the listing again this is a very important point because if you see when any company goes direct, they do not have any lockup periods, which means Brian Armstrong, in theory, can literally sell his $13 billion worth of shares, which is basically 40 million shares, today, right? He can, in theory, do it today, but people don't really realize this big, uh, you know, flaw in, in companies that go direct, uh, and that's something that Everyone should be aware of. Again, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to cover this topic today in my channel. Because if you are investing in Coinbase, you are going to definitely have a um, you know a chance that your uh, your tokens may get dumped on you uh, by Coinbase employees or Coinbase board members or CEO or even uh, you know people who have supported Coinbase for a very long time and who have held uh, you know coinbase shares in the private uh, uh, sh uh, sales they are going to dump on you right so that's something that you definitely have to look into coinbase's listing on the nasdaq stock exchange gives traditional investors who may be interested in digital currencies but are unable or unwilling to buy them directly uh, an indirect way to buy into the market right again this is very true because i have a lot of people um, you know who have told me that they much they would much rather invest in stocks rather than cryptos, right? 
Um, even though they do uh, want to invest in crypto, there is something that's definitely preventing them. Either the fact that um, you know cryptocurrencies are not really that liquid compared to the traditional stock market. Uh, cryptocurrencies are not well regulated as the stock market and cryptocurrencies are much more riskier and extremely volatile compared to the uh, stock market. These are some of the main reasons why people who I know uh, are uh, interested in investing in crypto but they don't want to, right? So these people now have a reason to invest in Coinbase which gives them indirect exposure to the crypto market, right? And in that way, it's a good thing. The company's financial prospectus include, included a glossary of uh, crypto-specific terms, including internet slang like HODL, which means uh, holding on to your cryptocurrency investments even when the price tanks. Again, these are very trivial information because, again, just because they have a bunch of random, cool-sounding crypto words in their glossary, that doesn't really mean anything for an investor. Maybe people who are... Uh, into like these kind of terms in uh, who are into seeing these kind of terms in their in their company's prospectus that that they're planning to invest in they may find it fascinating but for a regular crypto investor these are basically uh, terms that are you know irrelevant uh, for investing in a particular project or a stock right uh, as demand for cryptocurrencies has surged this year coinbase has struggled to keep up with the demand some customers whose accounts were plundered by attackers or who were locked out of their accounts, have said the company ignored their pleas for help. Again, it's interesting how the New York Times has kind of left the, the, um, you know, the article in a very bad note for uh, Coinbase. It is true that during times of high uncertainty and volatility, Coinbase shuts down. Coinbase is one of the most uh, popular cryptocurrencies to shut down very quickly, not shut, shut down in the sense to have malfunctions or to have uh, you know access errors or access issues um, when people want to sell their crypto or when they want to buy their crypto during extremely volatile times crypt uh, coinbase is the worst place to buy or sell crypto right be in that position so that's not the only thing um, there are people who have had a lot of money in coinbase and their accounts were suspended with little to no explanation given to them. Uh, if you have uh, bought Bitcoin from a legal source, uh, like a proper exchange, and if your Bitcoin had a track record of being involved in some form of an illicit activity in the past, maybe like in the past seven years or eight years before you even bought them, Coinbase will literally like shut down your account. Uh, it has happened, it has happened to people who uh, I don't personally know, but I have heard people whom I know um, and some of their friends have been like, you know, involved in some kind of like a scandalous, uh, you know, activity through Coinbase and Coinbase has never literally done anything to help them. Their customer support is one of the worst in the exchange, uh, in the centralized exchanges and they offer very little to no help at all in many cases. It is true that that's the case, but I don't really think that that is something that, uh, you know, people who are invest interested in uh, buying Coinbase shares would really care about, right? Because people who want to invest in a share for a company, they don't necessarily have to have used the company services. Let's say, for example, right, you could still invest in Apple and hold an Android and you don't really have to have bought an Apple phone or an, any of the Apple product ever in your entire life and you could still invest in the Apple stock, right? If the Apple new Apple phone were to have some serious uh, bug and uh, you know it kind of crashes or it causes a lot of issues, it still doesn't bother the investors because the investors are not actually buying the product, they're actually buying a share of the company because they know that even though the company is, uh, even, even though the products that the company may produce may not be good quality products, the company itself is going to make a lot of money despite all of these shortcomings, right? So similar to that, even if Coinbase has several negative reputations, that is definitely not going to prevent investors to uh, from buying the Coinbase stocks, right? So with that out of the way, let's go to the Coinbase's coin uh, token 
a tokenized version of the Coinbase stock that was listed on FTX, which is a very popular exchange um, today, right? So on FTX, you can clearly see that the Coinbase token, C-O-I-N, is currently, you know, currently uh, trading at $373.43 at the time I'm making this video. And it has recently been uh, down 36.1% in the past 24 hours, right? Again, there's no real 24 hour period because the Coinbase token only got listed, uh, you know, in the afternoon of today. And, uh, you know, it's still going down. The funny thing is the FTX tokenized version of Coinbase is tradable 24 hours, right? But the actual stock itself is not really available to be traded 24 hours. So please bear that in mind. And that can potentially increase volatility and can be extremely risky for newcomers. So if you are a newcomer, I would definitely not recommend you to invest in this uh, token uh, because it's extremely volatile. Again, uh, that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. And if you guys want to do your own research and invest in this token, please feel free to do so. I'm just providing my views and this video should not be considered as financial advice, right? So if you look at the market cap, there's no real market cap information available. But if you see, there's a maximum of 250 million tokens uh, of COIN tokenized Coinbase shares available um, for, you know, for circulation. And the current circulating supply information is not well known. But if you look at the 24-hour trading value uh, volume, you can see that $20 million uh, worth of uh, tokens have been traded in, in less than 24 hours, right? That's extremely incredible because um, people are looking forward to buying the Coinbase stock long before the you know, listing was even announced. And that kind of shows how people are really eager to buy a stock in its tokenized format, despite it just being a tokenized version of the stock, right? So that's very interesting indeed. If you look at the price chart, obviously you can clearly see that the token was initially like listed uh, for a price of $584. People literally started dumping this token immediately. And you can obviously see that the token kind of went up to $615 dollars per token and then crashed immediately. I strongly believe that this extreme downtrend is because of the uh, you know, Coinbase insiders, the uh, people uh, who work for Coinbase, who have the Coinbase shares, either sold most of their shares or um, you know, partial shares of Coinbase um, you know, uh, shares. And that kind of reflects on the token price itself, the tokenized stocks price as well. And that's something that we are seeing right now. And it's currently trading at $373. Again, it's less than a day old data. So it's still highly volatile. You can't really use this data for any form of uh, uh, decision making because this chart is extremely short time frame, right? Uh, it kind of reached an all time low today of uh, $327 and it kind of rebounded up to $337 per token. Um, but again, that has zero implications or zero meaning, right? So if you take the exchange, obviously it's available on FTX. You can purchase it with your US dollars. Uh, it's not really available anywhere else. And one footnote that I have to mention is Binance is also planning to release their own version of tokenized stocks. So please have that in mind because I do believe that there will be several tokenized versions of stocks that will be listed on Binance through their Binance launch pool format. So if you hold the BNB token, you will be given uh, tokenized versions of uh, uh, Tesla or uh, Coinbase shares or whatever, right? That's something that will potentially happen on Binance. And Binance is definitely going to see some form of um, huge volume because Binance being the biggest exchange, you'll be able to see the price of the token spiking up, right? So what's my final verdict on this? Am I going to invest in Coinbase shares or the coin token? I'm not going to invest in this token because um, not only is this, uh, sh the Coinbase share extremely manipulate, mani manipulatable, right? You can, can clearly see that there are several executives on Coinbase who have like tons and tons of Coinbase shares 
and with a direct listing there is an extremely high risk that they could literally dump on you at any time they want because there is no lock up period, there is no vesting schedule, anything like that. Um, being in crypto for uh, quite some time now, I believe that although crypto is volatile, cryptocurrencies have, uh, you know, there are different types of cryptocurrencies who genuinely try to solve actual problems, right? I'm not saying there's some, all the cryptocurrencies are trying to solve problems. There are some scammy coins. There are coins that have had genuine intentions, but they have failed because of their own um, lack of funding or their project being, uh, you know, uh, hacked or, you know, uh, rug pulled or whatever, right? So that still doesn't mean that cryptocurrencies are not the future, right? Cryptocurrency is definitely the future. Every cryptocurrency uh, that aims to be this genuine uh, to, uh, cryptocurrency that aims to solve an actual real life problem which has uh, you know if they have team members uh, who have a strong vesting schedule plus the strong tokenomics with little to no uh, influence from the founders or the team members all those cryptocurrencies are definitely going to succeed for the long run right um, when it comes to those kind of principles since I'm used to seeing those kind of principles when I see Coinbase uh, share, you know, majority of the Coinbase share being owned by a few individuals of the Coinbase company with no vesting schedules and they can literally kind of like print more shares if they want to technically and seeing how manipulated this price uh, market is, I don't really want to invest uh, in, in Coinbase shares, right? I may invest it for the short term provided the price kind of reaches its fair market value which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon because the hype for Coinbase tokens as well as Coinbase shares is still extremely high. So this uh, temporary volatility can potentially make people lose a lot of money while if you are lucky enough, you can definitely gain money as well, right? Since this is extremely volatile, extremely unpredictable, extreme risk, I'm not going to be involved in buying Coinbase shares anytime soon unless the price of the token significantly decreases and reaches a fair market value, which I don't really see happening anyway because we are in the middle of a bull market and it's everything is going to be irrational here, right? But that does not mean that you guys shouldn't invest in it. You guys can do your own research. And if you feel like it's worth investing in the share or uh, tokenized version of Coinbase share, then by all means, please go ahead. I'm just telling my final opinion. My opinion is I'm not going to be investing in Coinbase shares or Coinbase token. Uh, I don't really like what I'm seeing when it comes to the small number of people holding a large number of shares. Um, and also, you know, I'm not really a big fan of Coinbase. If this were to be Binance, let's say, for example, Binance or some other like, uh, you know, predominantly famous cryptocurrency exchange with uh, extremely good customer service, um, you know, uh, them doing some really cool and innovative things, then I would probably consider investing a little bit. But I don't think I would do this for Coinbase because I have personally had some really bad experiences with Coinbase and Coinbase support. Uh, not only that, but also Coinbase is one of the slowest exchanges to list a new token, right? They list the token very slowly. They do things extremely slowly. They're considered some of the slowest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. And if, uh, if that were to be the case, I don't think this kind of price point is highly justified because there are extremely, uh, you know, quick and, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies with extremely low fees who have excellent customer service, who have, you know, thousands and thousands of altcoins that they're listing on a, uh, on a regular basis. And they kind of adapt to the trend. They have airdrops. They have, you know, so many features are available in other exchanges. And other exchanges are literally beating Coinbase to every single step and Coinbase will soon be irrelevant because of its um, uh, centralized nature, just like every other centralized exchange, right? But till that day comes, Coinbase has a lot to do in order to retain its popularity. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of newbies who's going to, who are going to be investing in this token without understanding the uh, shares, uh, you know, background and how it is extremely highly uh, valuated, uh, but they are definitely going to be burned pretty soon, right? So, be very careful. Invest only in, uh, in invest only in projects that you trust, 
and projects that uh, you know have high upside potential because if you see coinbase shares uh, they were evaluated at uh, you know extremely low but as of now it seems like it's value valued at 65 billion dollars and that's kind of like like extremely high for a project that got listed recently because it doesn't really have a lot of upside to it right and that's one of the other reasons why i don't really want to invest in the share um but anyway that's my personal opinion i may be completely wrong and by the end of this year this token this token or the actual share itself could be worth thousands of dollars per token or per share um i personally won't regret in investing in coinbase because i could obviously invest in uniswap i would rather invest in uniswap or pancake swap who have extremely high growth potential uh, in uniswap you may even get a dividend uh, based on uh, their new version 3 upgrade right uh, pancake swap is also having some really cool upgrades and pancake swap will also be bridging to ethereum and polka dot and so on and so forth as uh, they grow and mature so there's huge upside potential to those cryptocurrencies and i personally literally believe that cryptocurrency exchanges or de- decentralized exchanges are going to be the future and therefore by investing in this project you are basically investing in the um, in in the hype of the short term centralized exchanges whereas the long term you're going to see decentralized exchanges dominating the space and coinbase and every other cryptocurrency exchange including binance may be irrelevant in the future right unless they do something extremely innovative they are going to continue to be irrelevant and they will probably be replaced by really cool really fast and really transparent decentralized exchanges right so that's just my verdict guys thank you very much for watching my video and remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so say brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye